How are you doing? Is this, oh my god, it's After Buzz. Buzz. Yeah, we're all over the place. I love you people. Representing for Zach is a kind of the, our main guy. Right on, right on. So I gotta ask your character, are we gonna get a little bit more backstory coming up? Um, I can't tell you what we're gonna see yet for my character, because um, because they they hold us in the dark a little bit on purpose, which is I think great. Um, I've read the first episode of season two, and there's a lot of really neat stuff happening. I hope that we're gonna see a lot more of Biasaurus's backstory, but um, I don't know whether it's gonna be lighter or darker. So we'll, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see for that. And then also, I'm kind of curious. You know, you were kind of you went from bad boy to good boy. What what side do you think he's gonna stay on, or which one do you like playing more? <sighs> That's the thing. I had some ideas of where I wanted the character to go for season two. Obviously, that's not in my control. That's all up to the writers. Um, I have full confidence that they're going to take him down some really great roads this year. Um, like I said, dark or light, I can't really talk about. I can't, I can't give you any more than that. What's been one of your favorite moments on the show so far that you can talk about? <laughs> season, I mean, season one was just such an, an ex extremely exciting experience. A lot of us were um, brand new to network television full series stuff so I got to work with a lot of people and a lot of different ranges of experience I mean we had Hiroyuki Sonata and Billy Campbell who were just amazing people to work with and I just think it was the whole process of putting together a show start to finish that I got to be a part of that was just mind-blowing I mean I my character got to do a lot of fun stuff I mean like unfortunately rest in peace Doreen I, I, I got to do so I got to terminate some of the fan uh, favorite characters um, and do a lot of bad stuff uh, which was fun to explore because I'm, I'm generally a pretty happy guy yeah. so it's fun to just to, to explore the dark side of things and um, I'm hoping I had to do some more of that for season two now for Comic-Con, who are you looking forward to seeing the most or do you want to see somebody in like a particular costume? I, I honestly, I just, I want to see the creativity of the fans. I think Comic-Con is for the fans. It's for the people that come to this. It's not about us or our shows. It's about them enjoying uh, this experience, like the dress up. I mean, that's, that's incredible. These people spend, like I know people that have spent a year building a costume. Mm -hmm. Like a year building a costume out of like foam and and, 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 and and fiberglass and stuff to come to these things. I mean that is incredible dedication for something that they love so much. And I just wanna I wanna appreciate it and and, and, and experience it all. Because I mean that's why we're here. We're only we only have shows that go to multiple seasons because of fans. Would you dress up if you were a fan? And if so, what would you dress up as? <sighs> I would options. definitely, I would definitely dress up. I mean, I love it. I love Halloween. I went as Uncle Jesse from Full House a couple of years ago, um, a few years ago now. Um, but, but as far as like superheroes and stuff like that, I've always, I've always loved the Hulk um, and Superman. Superman's always been my favorite. I mean, I'm from Calgary originally, and Superman won the original in 70, 78, 77, 78 was filmed in Calgary. So I was automatically a built-in fan to Superman when I was a kid. So. So Superman versus Batman, you're, you're rooting for Superman. Soups. It's got to be. Sorry, soups. Ben Affleck. <laughs> ben Affleck is going to crush it. I know he's going to do a great job. I have no, I have, there's a lot of people that say whatever they want to say about it, but I feel like he's, he's, he's going to do a great job. But he's still just a, a rich dude with no superpowers compared to Superman, you know? So Soup's got it, I think. You're telling him to bring it. Thank you so much, Mark. It was a great talk to you. Thank you. Pleasure.